check PCP orders. Gather supplies and equipment. Perform hand hygiene and maintain standard precautions. Introduce self. Hi, Ms. Wilkins. My name is Rebecca, and I'm going to be your nurse today. Provide for privacy. I'm going to shut your door to give us a little bit more privacy, okay? Identify the patient using two identifiers. Ms. Wilkins, can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? Rebecca Wilkins. Assess allergies. Are you allergic to anything that we need to be aware of, especially any type of adhesive or any kind of medication? Not that I know of. Okay, great. Explain the procedure to the patient. So, Ms. Wilkins, today the doctor has ordered that we will change the dressing on your on your abdomen where you had your surgery yesterday. So, I will be getting everything set up um, and we'll get you positioned so that we can get that changed for you. Assess pain level. Are you having any pain right now? Just a mild pain. Okay. On a scale of 0 to 10, with 0 being no pain and 10 being the worst, how would you rate that pain? I would rate it on a level of a 2. A 2? Okay. And where is it that you're hurting? Just my abdomen. Okay. And how would you describe the pain? Is it aching? Is it throbbing? Is it just kind of a soreness? Just a soreness. Okay. Well, if you start to hurt worse while we are doing this dressing, dressing change, please do let me know. Raise the bed to working height and lower the side rails as appropriate and safe. So, Ms. Wilkins, I'm going to raise your bed up, and I'm going to need you to be really still when I do that um, so that can, I can have you where I need you to be to do the dressing change. to be at my waist height, so I do have to put you up pretty high. I'm going to lower the side rail. Position the patient appropriately and expose the wound. I'm going to pull your sheet down and your gown up. I am going to try to keep you as covered as possible, but I do need to make sure I give myself plenty of area so we can get this dressing changed. Place a waterproof trash bag or biohazard bag on the bed, fold the top of the bag over to make a cuff that will keep the bag open, and place the bag within reach. So Ms. Wilkins, I have this bag on your bed to catch my trash, so if you'll just be real still for me. Apply clean gloves, non-sterile. Remove the tape by holding the skin taut and pulling the tape towards the dressing. Okay, I'm going to start pulling this tape off. I'm going to be just as gentle as I can, but let me know if I'm hurting you. Gently remove one layer at a time of the gauze, packing, and foam while observing the drainage on the dressing for color, quantity, and type. So Ms. Wilkins, you, you just have a little bit of drainage on your dressing, which is expected, so everything is looking good. Dispose of the dressing by folding it in on itself, soiled side of the dressing should be on the inside, and place it in the trash or biohazard bag. Observe for color and tissue type in the wound base. Look for edema, exudate, and odor. Also observe the skin around the wound for the same items. Assess for infection. So Ms. Wilkins, you have just a tiny bit of drainage, which is normal. I don't see any redness or swelling or anything that would indicate to us that you might have the beginnings of an infection. Remove the gloves and dispose of them properly in the trash or biohazard bag. Perform hand hygiene.
Supplies include two packages of sterile 4x4 gauze multipacks, one ABD dressing, one bottle of sterile saline solution, sterile gloves, and tape. Place both 4x4 packs on a clean work field. Open top of each package without contaminating contents inside. The sterile solution container should be placed on a clean work field. Do not touch the inside of the container. Pour sterile normal saline solution into the sterile basin of one sterile 4x4 package, leaving the second package dry. Place the label bottle in the palm of the hand. Do not reach across the sterile field. Open ABD package and lay open without touching the inside of the package. Perform hand hygiene. Don sterile gloves. Clean the wound with sterile normal saline solution using a new gauze pad for each cleaning. Cleanse wound from proximal to distal area followed by cleaning each side of the wound from proximal to distal area. Clean the area around the wound, para wound area, using sterile saline solution to at least one inch beyond the edges of the dressing. Thoroughly dry the wound in para wound using a dry sterile gauze and a blotting motion. Do not rub these areas. Use a new dry gauze for each blot. Apply folded wet 4x4 sterile gauze over the wound. Ms. Wilkins, I'm just putting the wet dressing down and then I will put the dry dressing on top of me. 
Cover with a sterile APD pad with blue line on top. Secure the dressing with the least amount of tape needed. Properly dispose of materials used. Remove gloves and dispose of them properly in the trash or biohazard bag. I'm going to get this bag off of the bed for you and I'm going to put it in our biohazard trash can. Perform hand hygiene. Label, date, time, and initials on an edge of the tape of the dressing. Wilkins, I'm just going to get you covered back up here. We are all finished. I'm going to put your side rail up and then I'm going to lower your bed. Return the bed to its lowest position. Raise the top side rails and verify that the call light is within reach for the patient. So Ms. Wilkins, I'm just going to get you covered back up here. We are all finished. I'm going to put your side rail up and then I'm going to lower your bed. And I'm going to put your call light right here by your hand so you have it, have it if you need to call us. Ms. Wilkins, is there anything else I can do for you before I leave? Okay, thank you. Perform hand hygiene. Document the date, time, assessment, procedure, and patient's response to the procedure.